Hey guys, so over the past weeks we have been getting really great news on the progress of full self-driving beta, but more importantly we have been getting a ton of updates in regards to actual smart summon and the auto park system. The team has been quietly working to get this out to everyone as soon as possible and during this period they are giving us some updates as to what they're doing in regards to making it work. Now although Elon has promised us throughout the year that it's only a few weeks away, now with the current progress in 2020. 24 and a version 12 inside of parking lots, we can safely assume that this is actually only a few weeks away. In a recent pen, the company had applied for titled Adjustment of Vehicle Direction Based on Environment. The car will soon be able to shift into the correct gear in a much more complicated situation. A very good example here would be pulling out of a parallel parking spot, whether the car would decide to shift into reverse or into drive is all dependent on the vehicle surrounding it. As of right now, how the auto automated smart shift system works is it will try to detect the object in front or behind you and it will shift into the opposite direction. That is pretty much what it's able to do as of right now and soon it will be getting a much larger upgrade. Of course with Tesla being all about safety and with these upgraded systems, Tesla is going to be adding on a mandatory checklist that you will have to comply to and if you don't the car will shift into a manual mode. This means that if you unintentionally leave your door open or you forget to buckle in the system will automatically deactivate and you won't have to shift by yourself. Now this all sounds too good but there is more to it. There is going to be an extension to this system where it will be completely revamped and re-upgraded allowing the car to take control of all the shifting action compared to what you're doing right now with the on-screen motion. Now this system here is only applicable to vehicles that do rely on the on-screen shifter and according to internal emails there is a specialized group of managers and executives executives that do have this enabled in their V12 FSD beta as we speak. Since earlier this year, the team has made significant upgrades to the Auto Smart Shift system, now trying to reduce as much as 90% of the on-screen swipes that you do on your daily commutes. This means that the Auto Shift is now going to understand your intention and it's going to try to predict exactly what you want to do and the scenario around it. So for those 3 and 5 point turns that you typically do and require you to shift over and over again. Now it's going to predict each and every single one of it depending on your wheel turn and you no longer have to do anything other than use the accelerator and the brakes. So now added to all this, Elon has just given us some additional confirmation as to what's going on with some of the missing features on the newer Tesla Vision vehicles. It is a fact as of right now, ultrasonic sensor vehicles do have more features and more capabilities than the ones that do not have it. A few of them that I can think at the top of my head here is Summon, Smart Summon, Auto Park, and the special feature where you can get out of your car and the car will automatically get into your garage and close it without you doing anything. So in in response to a user on X just a few days ago, Elon responded that there is something cool happening next month and the month after that that is probably hinting to the new release of AS, the actual smart summon and the smart auto park. So all of this is happening and although it sounds too good to be true, it's going to be coming by this year so I can't wait to try this and demo it for you guys. There's also a lot of interesting stuff that's coming out in the next couple of months so I do want to keep you guys as updated as possible so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already done so and follow me on x at hey john e that's where you guys can dm me and chat with me and if you guys want to support the channel i do have a patreon link in the description below this should be it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed it this is john once again peace out